Junior year. It's definitely not your first year, but it's not quite your final year yet. Besides turning the big 21, I guess, there's nothing too crazy about your third year of college. It's kind of just there, but I'm here for it. Oh, zoom in. Oh, oh. The little, you got it? Yeah. Okay, smile. Waking up at 5.30 in the morning is never enjoyable, and if anyone says it's enjoyable, they're probably lying to you. But you know what is enjoyable? Pushing yourself physically and pushing yourself mentally to take that cold shower, and of course, sitting in your thoughts in silence. Building these habits is not something that happened overnight. I've been trying to work on myself and working out and getting up early and all of that since I came to college. So it's definitely still a work in progress, but it's not something that just happens overnight. what it is, but there's always something really nostalgic about the first day of school. Regardless if you're in elementary, middle school, or even college like I am, it's kind of the beginning of an end and it's also an exciting feeling, but sometimes it can also be really nerve-wracking for no reason. <laughs> A simple goal that I have for this new school year is to be more of a college student in terms of staying on campus. Like today, I had a class earlier in the day and then a few hours until my next class and instead of going home and doing my thing there, I'm staying on campus and just enjoying being a college student while I can. I remember last school year, like, I was not excited. I am not, like, completely excited for first day of school. I don't really know what it is, but I'm excited this year, and I can't complain. I also think a really big factor of this year, already feeling better and it's only the first day, is just a new environment, new roommates, and everything. Loved where I lived last year and the people I lived with, but I also love a good change of scenery and just a restart. It just feels good to move around, switch up your schedule, implement some new habits, and get it going for the new school year. Another little goal that I'm kind of working on, or intention I guess you could say, is focusing on what is mine to do now. Because I'm that person that likes to really think in the future of what am I going to do after college? What do I like? Just all these thoughts. But I'm actively really trying to be in the moment and be like, you know what, you're in college right now. Your job right now is to be in college and to finish college, so don't stress about what's not even there yet. So I'm really just trying to embrace every single walk to class or being in class and people that I see and just overall being on campus and soaking it all in.
of my big lectures that I had today was my oceanography class and I never really enjoyed learning about science necessarily in a school setting. I'm interested in it more about reading about it or going and experiencing things, but this is the first time I've actually enjoyed it in a school setting, so embracing that I'm actually enjoying one of my big lecture classes. Science has nothing to do with my major. This is a requirement that you have to take some sort of science and a lab. And this just reminded me that there are unnecessary classes that you might have to take in college that have nothing to do with your major. But if you can find the slightest interest in it and actually try to learn the material and do the work for it, it makes it much better as a whole and it makes class and doing homework way less miserable. That was Sean, he is a transfer student and he said that my videos really helped him out to know school and the campus and made him feel more comfortable and that honestly made my entire day because I'm not complaining but I do spend a good amount of time editing these videos so it's nice to know that at least one person is watching it and taking away something from them. When I got back from class, it hit me. I was drained. I forgot how tiring an entire school day is plus work and doing things on my own. So I had to just write out everything on a calendar because I was getting a lot of new events and new dates. So I just had to see everything clearly. Something that I've also realized throughout this entire week and the start of the new school year is that it's really not these big spontaneous moments that make my days good. It's more just about the simple little things like going to Panera, sitting outside in the sun with Caitlin, and just enjoying life. As much as I love campus, I also love getting off campus and going to explore more of San Diego and something that I typically do is go on a nice little hike by myself or a trail to just be with nature and just kind of be quiet with my thoughts and I ended up also going to Balboa Park which isn't too far from me. It's a really cool place, really cool people and that's where I did some interviews for Society Perspective. Something that I never want to take for granted is living in San Diego because I don't really necessarily know after college where I'm exactly going to be living, but right now all I know is I'm in San Diego and I'm enjoying it so much. There's so many things to do all the time, it's so beautiful, and I'm genuinely just so happy to be here. Even if it's the same video, I take 20 times of the same exact palm tree, I don't care. Everything's just so beautiful in my eyes, and I also love the location because for work, there's a lot of events going up in LA, and this time we were in Malibu for a team party, so I was happy that I was able to make that and spend some time with everyone.
I'm also learning that college really is what you make of it. You can stay in and you do your own thing, which I do honestly the majority of my nights, but it's also having that quote unquote balance of going out to some football games and doing some college things while you can because you're in college. But the beauty is, is that it's all your choice of what you want to do. And sometimes this differs. Some nights I do want to stay in. Sometimes I want to go hang out with my friends. So it really just depends, but whatever works for you, works for you. And overall, this whole experience of the beginning of my junior year has been amazing. I'm so blessed to be around great people and everything. And I'm excited for what the rest of the school year holds. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. It really does mean a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.